day all. Ira Epstein, and I'm not in the office today, so I thought that I'd do a short video and show you how to learn to do swing lines and prep you for the other parts that are in my charting course and what I talk about in my end of the day videos. So here we are with swing lines. And what swing lines do, and this is gonna be your simple introduction, they define, as I call it, trend and risk in the market. Now you're gonna say, what does that all mean? Well, let's start with an uptrend first. An uptrend, as I define it, is a market pattern whereby the chart pattern is one of higher highs and higher lows. You see that? But how do you see that on a chart, right? So let's assume we get a line coming up just this way. We'll call that Monday. So we had an up day on a Monday. Then the market, I'll move that over for you, slips back. And on Tuesday, we get the market coming down. What do we have right here? Well, we have an apex, I think you'd agree. And that apex is going to be what I call the rally high. Now, I'm using Monday and Tuesday. It could be a five minute bar chart, a 15, it doesn't matter. The concept is we have that. The market goes up Wednesday, falls back Thursday. Obviously, I'm drawing these days so they're easy to work with. We have another rally high and we know these after the fact. Swing lines are not predicting where the high or the low are going to come in. They're telling you after the fact what you've got. And I do teach you that during the day you're able to pretty much predict that because of how it works. And in this case, I'll put a third rally high on the market. So now what do we have? You'll notice that each rally high is higher than the one preceding it. What else do we see on this chart? Well, as the market came down and made this pattern, we had a break low. Again, after the fact, the market did it again, and there's our next break low. So each break low is what? It has to be higher than the one preceding that one. So we have a pattern of rally highs that are higher, we have break lows that are higher, and that is how you have an uptrend. Now, how do you find the risk with that trend? Well, as we get to that pattern that we just had where we know we had that rally high, you can circle that on your chart to begin with. Draw an arrow that is exactly horizontal, exactly. There the market comes back up to it, and you can see right here. If the market gets through that number, you're in what? A pattern of a higher high and most likely a higher low. I'm assuming that for you. Right through here. We'll call that the break low, right? We had that before. The difference of one tick over the previous high to one tick under that break low is what I call the risk in the market, so on and so forth. You'll see how those patterns move right on through that, and that is where I define those differences being the risk associated with trying to catch the uptrend. I hope that makes sense. The downtrend is the flip-flop of it. In a downtrend, you define a market pattern which is one of lower highs lower lows. You'll hear traders all over talk about that. It's not just me. So as we start drawing to our friend Monday and we get the market coming back up, you know what we're going to have. We're going to have that pattern where I can circle it right through here. And what is that? That is going to be our break low. Then of course we move on Wednesday and Thursday and lo and behold we have a lower break low, so on and so forth. Let me step here and not trip over myself. And the key here, and I'll walk over this way so you can see it. As long as the previous rally high is not taken out, the trend remains down. So you don't want to take out that high, you didn't want to take out that high. And there's your rally highs. Now, how do we define risk in it? It's pretty simple. It's the same thing. We had our break, a bounce away from it. So there's our low point. The market moves on. We have that horizontal line. It's that exact number, but one tick under it could be where traders initiate shorts. I'm not saying you will, but you've now got your trend. You've got, in theory, the lower highs, lower lows. If you enter here, your risk would be one tick over the high right through there, and I'll define that is the risk in the market, so on and so forth. It's really that simple. And doing it and working with it is easy. You know, I, I wrote a pattern called the swing line, and it does all this for you on the chart. So this is how I define risk. This is how I define trend. To learn more about this, I invite you to go to our website. You'll see a whole arena of different 
things you can get from our futures trading kit to my charting course. What you just saw now is how I teach in my charting course. That's under the word education www.irapstein.com 866-973-2077. See you shortly.